Hey guys, so I have an outfit of the day and I really debated on whether or not I should put this up or not because the outfit that I'm wearing is very secretarial and may some people may not dig it or or like it or anything like that, but because I did my face this morning, I figured I would go ahead and put it up. Um, you can see the, the look that I did. Um, because I, I didn't combine it, so I said, what the heck. Um, so yeah. Uh, for my outfit, I'm not going to talk about my face because I have the actual tutorial that will be right after I show you my outfit. But um, the earrings that I'm wearing, these were a gift for, I think it was Christmas, but my husband gave them to me. They're just little like black chandelier um, earrings. And then my shirt um, is a like black satin looking bodysuit that buttons up with a collar that I got from Victoria's Secret. And then my hair is up in like a little jeweled clip. I know, and then it's just curled at the bottom a little bit, but um, like that. And then, so yeah, that's the the shirt, and um, it's loose right now. And then this skirt is that's another thing. A lot of people don't like wearing navy and black, but this skirt has black in it, and I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but um, it's got like a floral pattern print. On the skirt and it's a pencil skirt and it's a high-waisted pencil skirt with a little slit in the back and then my shoes I'm wearing my black coach heels so it's very like business like and then my bracelet too this was a gift that I got at Christmas that was kind of cute I haven't seen the shoes yet these are the, the shoes that I wear that light's kind of bright in that corner, it's kind of washing out. Anyway, so that is what I'm wearing. Really simple, I'm not gonna do pictures on my blog, but I will post on my blog and then descriptors and links to the makeup products that I used in the video. And, um, oh, I don't know if I said it or not, but the skirt is from H&M. I said the top was from Victoria's Secret. I got the shoes at the bay, but I got them at the coach store that's inside the bay. So that is my outfit for today, and I hope you enjoy the makeup look. And um, it's very, very office, office secretarial. Like, I, I was actually going to do a fringe twist, but then I was like, oh, that's like really like too much. Boo! That I scare you. I look ridiculous without makeup on. Um, so I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I'm just going to speed up the application. I'm just using a sponge. That's the easiest way for me to do it quickly um, with this particular foundation because it's a little bit of a thicker um, consistency. I used the Makeup Forever Concealer under my eyes today. And I also put on a mineral skin finish. I use the medium dark and I just use that all over my face. Um, I'm going to use the Mac Smooth Merch Highlight just on my cheekbones there. It gives a really nice sheen. I really like this. Um, I'm going to be really sad when I don't have any more because it is a limited edition product and I only bought one. Um, then I'm going to use a Skin Flash, which is the light reflector um, brightener that I, I use from Dior. I blend that in with my fingers. Do a do do dum do we do my ultra fabulous chapstick that I got at Kmart, which is Dr Pepper, because um, in the morning my lips are always really dry. This is my favorite um, brow pencil. It's by Dior, and you just you don't have to sharpen it or anything. It's so easy to use, and it's so natural compared to most eyeshadows that I have in my my stash. And then it's just convenient because it has the blender on the other end. And it's really weird because it is a universal brown. It's the only color they have. And it literally goes with so many people's skin tones. You'd be so surprised. Like I've used it on a lot of different clients when I used to work with Dior. And um, I just really like it. It's my all-time favorite beauty product. And I'm going to blend that in because it, it even makes it a little bit more natural when you do that. I was running really, really late this morning, by the way. <laughs> this is my favorite eyeshadow that I have. I'm gonna use the middle color with um, Dior's Travel Size Eye Brush. 
I got this on their Christmas kit. I showed that in a haul. It's one of my, it's just the really cute little um, brush kit that they had. They always have them over at Christmas. I don't know if they're going to keep doing that though because I heard that they're going to stop doing it. But um, the color of this ends up being more like of a peachy color. And um, I play around with this palette a lot. I actually have another video on YouTube right now that has the same palette in a tutorial. That brush is actually by Clinique and it is great if you have small eyes. I, I don't have a lot of eyelid space to work with. So I make do with what I have. And this brush has, has been really helpful in that. And I love doing just in the crease and making a little bit more of definition there with that darker color. And then I blend it in with the highlight color at the top. And do both eyes there. I always kind of brush it off to the side because with my eyes, it's really easy to go outside on that corner and at an angle, even like my eyes are really almond shaped, I'd say. It ends up working out in the end. So I'm gonna use that highlight color I was talking about and use that on um, my brow bone. And I, I blend it just a little bit down on top of that brown color to soften it as well. Nothing really creative today, just something really simple, but still makes me look more awake and fresh. This was so challenging, um, getting this on camera. I ended up doing it, but my hands blocking most of it. I love this art liner by Lancome. I, it's so easy to use and um, I can get a perfect line with it. And I'm not even that good at eyeliner, I promise. But um, you can see there that it's just easy to use and it's quick, like it's, it's a no mess, no fuss sort of thing. So that's that eye. And then um, right now it looks like I'm just standing there, but really I'm doing my other eye and I didn't edit that part out because I wanted you to be able to see both eyes in the end. Oh, there you can see I'm kind of messing around with my other eye. My eyeball looks funny this close up. <laughs> there you go. Both eyes are done. And then after that, I use my Shu Umura eyelash curler to curl my eyelashes. I've got really small eyelashes too, if you can see, which is why I really love that new look mascara so much because it just brings them, it widens them and makes them look a lot bigger than they are. Ooh, this is the fun part. I sped this up because it was like, I take a long time. I think most girls take a long time doing mascara and I definitely did two coats. And instead of just doing one eye and, and that, I did both eyes. I still haven't figured out how to be consistent and just do like the one eye so you don't have to sit there and watch both. This, I just used that dark color and used a little bit underneath my eye. Not really sure why I did it. I just felt like it needed a little bit of color, but but it's very light. You can see the difference there. I think it pulls it all together. My lips look really pink right now, but I swear I don't have any lipstick on. I'm gonna put the Lolly, was it Loving? Lollipop Loving by MAC. That was a limited edition color. I think it was two years ago. I'm not really sure. It's a peachy color as well, which kind of goes with the eyeshadow, but it doesn't match the eyeshadow. And on the camera right now, it looks really pink, but it's actually a peachy color. And that is my face. So yeah, that is that, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.